Earlier this year, the CDC warned about a rise in cases of meningitis, which we know can be life threatening. So it's a disease that can cause inflammation of the area surrounding a person's brain and spinal cord. Mandy Gaither has more on what you need to know about the disease and how you can protect yourself against all forms of it. In 2013, college sophomore Emily Stillman called home with a headache. I thought she had the flu. She thought she was overtired. The next time her mother got a call, she says it was from the hospital. She was told her daughter had contracted meningococcal meningitis. Emily died the next day. Emily had no chance. Alicia Stillman says she thought her daughter had been vaccinated against all forms of meningitis, but 11 years ago, the vaccine to protect against Emily's form of the disease hadn't yet come out. Meningococcal meningitis is fast acting and highly highly dangerous. Stillman and others launched the American Society for Meningitis Prevention to make people aware of the disease, which is mainly caused by five types of meningococcal bacteria. Vaccines to protect against all of them are now available in the U.S. and recommended for adolescents and those who have other risk factors or underlying medical conditions like HIV. Meningitis B is not a mandatory vaccine. That's why those who work with the nonprofit say it's important for health care providers and parents like Stillman to stay on top of vaccinations. It's important that all parents know what vaccines their child is given so that they can ensure that their children have received protection against all five zero groups. For Health Minute, I'm Mandy Gaither. So the CDC says the initial symptoms of meningococcal meningitis may be mistaken for other illnesses, and they include fever, headache, stiff neck, nausea, vomiting, sensitive eyes, and confusion.